mm-hmm. uh, comic book writer and book author, Cecil Castellucci. I love her. I love her too. Asked people on Facebook, mm-hmm. if you're going to feed an alien a very specific, typical Earth dish, <laughs> what would it be? What? Um, and when I say it's alien, I presume she means from like outer space. space. Yes. Right. Uh, an earth dish? Well, I mean, it depends on what you... A typical mean. earth dish. A typical earth dish? Because you're probably... I don't know. Okay. What? No. Well, I, I have many thoughts about this. This Is gonna is this going to be like the 12th time that you discuss your favorite three restaurants in New York City? No. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And how long they've been in business and hey, where exactly they're located? At least I'm consistent Which and loyal. Cool. That, that, no, I, hey, I am too. I am too. That's true. Um, I love, I go to Bagel World like five times a week. They're all very nice to be mm-hmm. there. They give me, uh, yeah. Oh, um, okay, typical. Well, that just depends. You know, the weird thing that popped up in my mind, probably because it would just gross you out and you would never eat this, is um, <laughs> breakfast casserole. Why? Isn't that well, what's in it? Oh, oh, we'll see. It depends on the. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Let, let me imagine what's you in it. You don't like a casserole in any kind of form. Mm, not really. I don't mind a casserole. Really. But you're talking about basically a burrito filled with scrambled eggs and stuff. Is that what a casserole well, would be? Well, a casserole it would be in a dish, like a, you know, like a, you put it in a glass dish. The oh. thing about a breakfast casserole, you make it, you make it the day before. Next day of breakfast, you just heat it up. There you go. Wait, these are Perfect. old eggs? Well, it can be pre-made, is what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, Where, then you, you know, heat it up. Then you, you got you gotta you gotta go to a funeral the next day. You're like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Make yourself it's a casserole. Breakfast casserole for my funeral. Take the funeral. That's what that's what you do. It you know like just adds you throw in everything in there like eggs and sausage and cheese. Okay. I would say those are the big the big ones, okay. right? You can maybe put a little bit of, get creative with a couple other ingredients, but. Uh, no, a casserole. That's what I would say. I would say you can wow, you had alien, a quick answer. A casserole and, and see, but you can go with anything. You can go with the tuna casserole. You can go with the tetrazzini. So a casserole. <laughs> Is it because it's just an easy, like, bunch of stuff mixed up, like, in a Oh, yeah, you're, stressed. you're already stressed. You're like, oh, my God, my aliens are coming. You've got enough to worry about. So what are you going to do? You're not going to make up a fancy dinner for them. I could make a, them a list. I would, if I had to cook for an alien, I would be, be like, I'll just do a, you know, spinach lasagna, because I can do that. I have about five dishes I can do. I can do a meatloaf, I can do a spinach lasagna, mm-hmm. I can do, you know, something like that. But you're going to say what? You're going to say, like, Chinese food? No, no. First of all, your answer is, like, some, some alien that visited in the 1950s. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know, do people make casseroles anymore? Is yes, that, they like, do. They yes, do. they do. They do. Okay, sorry, I'm ignorant as usual. Uh, no, the question asked is a typical dish, I guess an earth dish. Yeah. And in this case, we're in America, mm-hmm. an American dish, and even more so, I'm a New Yorker. Meatloaf. So so you're changing your answer to meatloaf? I don't know, I'm just thinking what can you okay, do you're in a pan? Just a, in a pan, so it has to one, be... Just a one, one pot, one pan meal. Oh, <laughs> wow. Are you thinking like a mom? A, chi- a chili, maybe. A chili. Just, just now, I think chili is actually a, the best answer you've given so far. But then, you know, some people like not a spicy chili. I like a spicy chili. How would the alien react to a spicy chili? Would it be? Well, where is this alien coming? Like, what part of the world? What part of the country? That's also you wouldn't give them a regional dish. No, I'm saying, but if you're doing, if you're representing New York, Brooklyn, America. Oh, New York. That I would just order food. Well, almost I would say in that case pizza, but that's yeah. not my answer. Although that's a good answer. Mm-hmm. Um, I I was thinking about a few things before I could actually answer, and one thing doesn't work with the other, and I'll tell you what that is. So, if you're going to be giving an alien food, how are they going to eat it? Do they just dive in with their mouth? No, they have like uh, they have hands shaped like spoons. Okay, well, spoon was going to be, if you had to, there we basically have three utensils. We have the fork, the knife, the spoon, right? But if you had to take one utensil to eat with the rest of, for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, it's got to be a spoon, right? It's got to be a spoon. You know why? Because you can't eat soup with a fork. And what can you do with a spoon that it, it can also be like a knife? You put it sideways, 
Do you that with a fork? I think spoons are better oh designed God. for okay. that. <laughs> anyway, but that goes against the meal that I would give an alien. Okay. I thought hard about this. <laughs> and you know I like the foods that we have probably even discussed in previous um, videos. Yes, yes. But I feel like, and this is something I've seen in movies, like what do, when characters are eating a meal usually and having their conversation, you know, expressing feelings or giving exposition, what are they usually eating? And it makes sense to me. Uh, a sandwich. Spaghetti and meatballs. No. Spaghetti. No, there are a lot of sandwich. There scenes. is, there is. But I feel like, again, going back to what you're going to give an alien for the first time that might represent a really good earth food. And, it does, and listen, I know we have vegetarians out there. Spaghetti. Oh, I eat veggie meatballs, though. It's They're veggie very meatballs, good. you know? Um, I feel like that to me is a classic meal. But then, but then, like, then you can use a spoon think, for that. Yeah, no. So it has to be a fork. You can't. It's making me think pizza is the right way to go. Who eats pizza? Nobody. Nobody hates pizza. Yeah. Unless you're and a you vegan, it with right? One, it's good because, and that's why, and, and pizzas in movies too, it's in sandwiches because mm -hmm. you know what? You can do it with a hand and then you've got another hand left over to, you, to express yourself. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm eating pizza. <laughs> so pizza might actually be the real answer. Yeah. Which is a cousin spaghetti and meatballs. I guess so. Which is a far distant nephew of casserole, maybe? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Because they're noodles? Well, casseroles, do they not have noodles? It can, yeah, it can. can. Yeah. Don't most casseroles have noodles? No, but I have like a breakfast casserole. Like a, the, no, a lot of casseroles don't have noodles at all. Or you've got like a classic green bean casserole. A casserole is something essentially like that I think of when I think mm -hmm. that I can make the day before. Mm -hmm. And then when people come over the next day in the old world, because nobody comes over now, mm -hmm. ever, uh, I can make it in, I can put it in the oven and it comes out and it's like, oh, it's all you need. It's all you need. That's all you need. Maybe a little bread on the side, cornbread on the side. Actually, a, a, a friend of mine who you may have met, Annie Nascenti. Do you know Annie Nascenti? Oh, I know that name. She's a great writer of comics. She's worked at you know, Marvel, DC. Uh, she just had a book out called The Seeds from uh, Burger Books, uh, mm -hmm. By Way of Dark Horse. Uh, she worked at High Time. She's also a filmmaker. She's awesome. Cool. She told me once that she always has a pot of something. Oh, you told me that. Cooking on the that. stove mm -hmm. in case someone shows up. Oh. Isn't that a beautiful sentiment and a great idea? Yeah. You know, like I if you're that. home, and also it permeates the. It the, doesn't work right now because nobody's coming. That's true, but it does. It gives like a nice like smell of the food. Amazon delivery man. <laughs> That's all I have. And then I had another question, which I'm now blanking on, which was a oh here it is. So. Obviously, the alien is, if you had a plate of spaghetti or a slice of pizza or something or a casserole, mm -hmm. they're probably going to eat it and then they'll react to it, whatever that is, right? Sure. They like it or don't or sure. whatever. Have you ever been, or yes, you've been invited to a dinner, right? To someone's house. In my life? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you ever ask, what are they serving for dinner or do you just go blind? Well, it depends because if my daughter is going she has an allergy so i okay. will say that okay and then and actually yeah yeah i don't ask what they're serving but i say if we have any food issues because she has an allergy so that's pretty serious and then i have a couple foods that give me headaches like instant oh. migraines so i do have a couple things so yeah but i don't ask what there's that's what they're serving but i say that we have you know I just name a couple. But you're doing it for medical purposes versus yeah. is it in their Personal food you taste. don't like, right? Yeah. Are you a fear that that's going to show up? That, of course that happens. So, yeah. so, you, so I always say, hey, you know, I don't like this, this, and this, right? Yeah. yeah. And I've been berated for that, saying, no, that's impolite. You should say nothing. You should just eat what they serve you. I'm like, I don't know. In a world of communication, you well, might as well foods? say. Can you just say you're allergic to them? So I've actually started lying and say I'm allergic to raisins. 
Well, yeah, I don't like dried fruit, but no one's going to put that no in. One, well, some uh, well people stuffing. Could. People could. Thanksgiving stuffing, people yeah. could. But I don't like, I don't really like most fish, mm -hmm. and I abhor, I loathe mushrooms, right? And the right. one time oh. I was invited to a dinner, and I was told to say nothing and be polite, and this person had this grand, you know, setting, dinner setting. They came out with like a white fish and raviolis. And I was like, what's in the raviolis? <laughs> Mushrooms. And I sat there and I ate this. Yes. And, that, I, and I reminded the, my, the person, I was like, yeah. next time I'm going to say something. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. come on, you only live once. Well, you know what? The, you know, the last time I went to a dinner party, the last one I went to, uh, half of us got COVID. So. From the food? Or you mean because the people showed up with COVID, right? Wait, what was the So, you know, party? I'll take a little you have to mushrooms. You Wait, what kind of hallucinogenic <laughs> mushrooms? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you have any questions or responses uh, besides what we just talked no, about? No, I thought the, the, I thought you were going to say, like, um, of course, like, after after dinner, you got to give the alien something to read. What are you going to give him to read? Or what, what TV show are you going to show? I thought that was going to, it was going to like, well, Wait, what do you mean after dinner? Like, so, like after dinner, you're going to watch a movie with the aliens. What are you going to show? All right, what movie would you show an alien? Aliens. No, you didn't say aliens. Oh, alien would be the better one. You're going to show the sequel <laughs> first and then go back one. You're going to show the alien to like rub it in their face how That's cool yeah. we think yeah. of aliens? Yeah. Although that alien is really cool. You know what just popped in my head, and I don't even, I'm not gonna explain it, I'll just tell you the title. The movie I would show, the first movie I would show in Alien is The yeah. Wizard of Oz. Okay, well sure. It's a great sure. movie. It, well it's a good, it's also a good like, you know, Stranger in a Strange Land mm, movie. That's true. Right? That's true. Um, I love how TV Guy once described The Wizard of oh, Oz yeah. as- I think that's a fake thing though that you showed me. I think that's fake, but go ahead. You can, Something to the effect of like how a young girl lands in a strange place and kills the first person she meets, and then she meets three strangers and they kill again. <laughs> Just true. That's what happens in the movie. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who knew that Dorothy was the original La Femme Nikita? Yeah, they do kill and kill again. But the first time is by accident.